Hey everybody, this is Roka. Thanks so much for stopping by for another video. So about a day or so ago, Big Fish implemented a stat increase for six of their heroes who were probably on the receiving end of some form of complaint. Igneous, Echo, Baylog, Sifu, Takumi, and Bramble all received some form of a buff. But in this video, I wanted to focus on Igneous the Mad because he is one of two heroes that received the most buffs, and I personally have shied away from using him not only because of his fragility, but also for a perceived lack of power when using him in dungeons and in PvP. So my Ignis is a 6-star, fully ascended version of this hero, and I can tell you that trying to get him to the 6-star level can be a little bit maddening, pardon the pun. If we take a look at the dungeons that carry his token, you'll see that we only have three of them, and two of them require seven energy to access. So any kind of hardcore farming is definitely going to be chewing into your bank account of energy rather quickly. Have no fear, though, we also have the ability to get him from the heroic, honor, and VIP portals as another avenue for obtaining his tokens. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats tab. Before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and show the numerical statistics for this particular hero. If you feel free to pause the video if there's anything that has any particular interest to you directly. All right, so as a fire hero, we see the standard uh, disadvantage towards water units and advantage towards nature units. If we take a look at the traits section, his first trait is going to be Pyromaniac, which is boosted damage versus burning targets. Now, he does have an attack that does uh, provide an avenue for uh, enemies to get burned, so this is a good trait to have and makes him a little more powerful once you get that attack going. As a second trait, we also have Fire Immune, where he takes no damage from fire attacks. This is actually really great, especially if you're coming up from Lady Nimral, whose uh, Come Over Here attack uh, is actually pretty nasty. And if we also look at Fire Crusade, it'll increase his crit and skill by 15% for all of his fire allies. So beneficial if you're going to be putting some kind of a fire team together, especially considering that his stats have just got boosted, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video. If we take a look at his abilities tab, of course you're going to see his basic attack. His first ability is called Wall of Fire, which is a ranged fire attack on all enemies for 391 base damage at level 60, and will add a fiery wall to the battlefield. So what this does is it creates a wall between your heroes and the enemies that you're fighting, and as the enemy's heroes pass through, there's the potential for them to get burned, which creates damage over time, or DOT damage during the battle. So the base damage is not very high, but we do have the potential to do more damage as as the battle goes on and of course with the opportunity to burn a particular hero this goes back to Ignis first trait that we talked about where he does more damage against burned enemies and thus makes him more effective. His next ability is called Energy Drain, which is a ranged spirit attack that drains two energies from an, ener an enemy and adds that to Ignis's. In addition, it also deals at level 60, 1712 base damage, which is really nice to power up his other abilities that are still waiting to uh, come up. And his last ability is called Volcanic Shards. Two ranged attacks for 881 base damage and will buff the caster for 64% attack power. So this basically turns him into a pretty nasty and formidable damage output uh, for a team. And with the buff and his survivability, it looks pretty good to bring him onto the team from now on. Igneous's ascension requirements are par for the course. Add 40 Fire Evos, 12 Fire Evo Monarchs, five Dark Evos and one Crypt Evo for First Ascension, Energy Drain, and the Passive Trait of Fire Crusade. Second Ascension requires 40 Dark Evos, 25 Fire Evo Monarchs, eight Mind's Eye Evos, and two Shadow Evos to gain Volcanic Shards. So what does this mean for Igneous the Mad overall? Well, I can tell you that as much as I've been an advocate for breaking away from cookie cutter builds, he has been a hero that I have failed to put into any of my experimental builds. In the past, I've always found his damage to be very lackluster, and his survivability is weak at best. In any case, now that I've seen this post-update change and experimented with him for the purposes of this video, I've decided that I do have some renewed value in using him and plan on putting him in some of my teams going forward. When you look at the fact that his damage ability and survivability has been increased uh, on top of the fact that we now have traits that actually perform functions it, the, the traits haven't changed 
but what has changed is the damage output. So they were good on paper, but they weren't good in number values. And now that they are, I see no reason whatsoever to keep this guy benched up, and I'm probably going to put him in my at least my second string of heroes going forward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for a video, please feel free to comment. I do try to reply to everybody that takes the time to do so. If you haven't already done so, though, please go ahead and subscribe and share and like if you feel so inclined. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and I will see you at the next video.